pray, pay, and be healed today. Thank you for saving me. I once overheard the cult leader say something about their wolf. I see you haven't recovered my scarab of imaging yet. Remember that the gargoyles took it to the desert? The other day, I was using my scarab of imaging for one of my spells, when suddenly, out of the sky, swooped a flock of gargoyles. While I was busy fending off their attack, one of them snatched the scarab. Then they all flew off towards the desert. I know not why they chose to steal my precious scarab, but I must have it back to complete my spell. I will reward you handsomely, if you can return it to me. I'll teach anyone the Moonray spell for two thousand gold. Oh, thank you so much for recovering my scarab. Now I can complete my spell. As a reward, I'll teach you the Moonray spell. Get lost! Can't you see I'm drinking? Don't look so disappointed. I'm not a damsel in distress, but there is a quest you could perform for me. My servants have informed me that my diamond tiara has been stolen from my room. I believe it to be the work of robbers that dwell in River City. They are led by a devious and cunning boss. They must be stopped, and my tiara recovered. Do this, and you will be rewarded greatly. I see that you have not recovered my tiara. Please keep trying. You have recovered my tiara and gotten rid of that bothersome robber gang. Oh, I am pleased. As a reward, I give you this treasure. It is always exhilarating to see adventurers such as yourselves. I, Felista, grant all great adventures the title of Crusader. Lord Zine already has the sixth mirror. The key to the Tower of High Magic lies in the Cave of Illusion. Thank you for saving me. I haven't seen the sun in days. Thank you for freeing me. I will return now to my sisters and tell them of your heroic deed. <laughs> he... he... breeds... breeds them in the warehouse. There is a transformer somewhere in town that is turning people into snakes. If you destroy it, the curse will surely end. The curse is over. Thank you so much. The moons will align when you are able to visit the dark side. The orc shaman tells lies and his tea is poisonous. Watch yourself. That Gunther, what a dunce. He paid that con man Joe a fortune to clean up this town. <laughs> if you like to fight, say Warzone to a mirror. Untie me from this chair before the zombies come back, okay? Thank you very much. They were going to turn me into one of them. I think I can get out of the forest on my own now. I'll slip your name into the guild rolls for 500 gold. I can teach you how to swim for a mere 100 gold. Now this is a wild town. <laughs> what, no ferna root? I can't make you any potions without the root. Toad Meadow is the only known source of ferna root, a vital ingredient in antidote potions. The witches of the meadow have been turning everyone they find into toads, so I don't dare go there. I will give you five potions for each ferna root you bring back to me. Thanks for the ingredients. I'll make a batch right away. Your folks look like you want membership in the Shangri-La Wizards Guild. I'll put your name on the list. I am waiting for you to destroy the witches and return the alicorn. I am just an old woman, 
But before I die, I wish to see the witches of Toad Meadow destroyed. You see, when I was still a young maiden, I fell asleep in Toad Meadow. When I awoke, I found a unicorn lying down beside me. Her name was Felista. The poor thing was exhausted, for she had been fleeing from a band of witches who were trying to capture her. I vowed that day to keep Felista safely hidden, and I have these many years. But now she has disappeared, and I fear the witches may have killed her for her alicorn's magic. Here is the key to their tower. Go quickly, destroy them. You have destroyed the witches, and for that I am grateful. For your gallant deeds, I dub thee all crusaders. Now I must find Felista and resurrect her with the magical power of her alicorn. I'm waiting for you to bring me the elixir of restoration from the evil clerics. I was once a beautiful mermaid, but one day a sorceress saw me swimming and became jealous of my beauty. She cast a spell that took away my beauty, but worst of all, she took away my mermaid tail and gave me legs instead. I search to find an elixir of restoration so I can return to the way I once was. I've heard the clerics of the evil Temple of Yak due east of here have one. If you could retrieve this elixir for me, I would be eternally grateful. Take this stone to gain entrance to the temple. Thank you so much for getting me the elixir. Now I can be restored to my former self and return to my ocean home. As a reward, I blow my kiss to all of you. I hear the secret password for Newcastle Dungeon is laboratory. <laughs> Not much of a secret if you ask me. The tavern hired the sorceresses to run Beric out of town. Five hundred gold buys you guild membership. Nothing less will do. Thank you for saving me. Ah, more adventurers. I charge you with the quest of finding the sixth mirror. My sources tell me that the mirror was last seen near the great volcano. Go forth now and bring it to me. I will reward the one who returns it to me with an earldom. No mirror? Get out of my sight! Thank you for rescuing Zine from that foul spirit. It is a pity about the mirror, though. Your destiny lies on the dark side of Zine. Fighting is simple. I'll teach you to be an arms master in one easy lesson for 300 gold. I cannot give you the last fallen leaf of autumn until you give me the last flower of summer. I am the Autumn Druid. I require the last flower of summer before I can give you the last fallen leaf of autumn. Without the last flower of summer, I cannot make summer end. Thank you for the last flower of summer. Here is the last fallen leaf of autumn. Take the leaf to the Winter Druid, so winter can begin. Please take the last fallen leaf of autumn to the Winter Druid. The name of the Sphinx is Gallux. Please keep trying to recover the Scroll of Insight from Castle Basenji. It is always a pleasure to see you, my friends. I am a sorcerer's apprentice. At least, I was until my master was killed by a wizard cult that lives in Castle Basenji. Besides killing my master, the wizard cult also stole the Scroll of Insight that was to be given to me to help me become a sorcerer. I want to avenge my master's death and get the scroll back, but they are a powerful group of wizards guarded by an army of werewolves. I beg you to help me. You have destroyed the wizard cult that killed my master. Thank you. Now, with the help of this scroll, I can become a sorcerer. As payment for your services, I give you the Amulet of the Northern Sphinx. If you, you have, have suffered, suffered magical aging, the druids can help you. 
visit the Druid of Summer first. Everyone should learn how to pray properly. I can teach anyone the prayer master's skill for free. The first thing you'll have to do is put 10,000 gold in that urn over there. Get lost! Can't you see I'm drinking? The tavern in Shangri-La has the best tips. Every day the casualties increase. Find the Cyclops as soon as you can. We are dying. Oh, mighty heroes, your fame precedes you. Recently a group of Cyclops established an outpost near our lands. They are cruel monsters that eat anyone they can catch. Please destroy them for us. We will give you what we can in return for your help. Friends, you are always welcome here. We saw the Cyclops outpost burning in the distance. You have our eternal thanks. Songs will be sung in your honor for generations to come. Here, take these treasures. We know it isn't much, but it is all we have to give. Once you have purchased a dungeon, you have no need for mega credits. Thank you for rescuing me from these foul orcs. Remember, orcs can't jump. The sorceresses of River City have stolen a magical pendant of mine. I want it back, and I will reward you if you return it. No pendant, no reward. Thank you for returning my pendant. Please accept the enchant item spell as your reward. I will also return the drinking fountain to normal. I'll teach anyone the enchant item spell for 1,000 gold. Other beings say that we orcs just aren't civilized. I now invite you in for a cup of tea to debate the issue. I will teach you everything for 100,000 gold. Friends, you are always welcome here. There are still ninja in my pagoda. I cannot go home until they are gone. I am a peace-loving old monk, driven from my sacred home. I used to live in the pagoda due south from here, until the evil ninja clan drove me out. I am too old to fight, but perhaps you, being so strong and well-armed, could rid my home of these evil clansmen. I could reward you. You have destroyed the ninja clan that drove me from my sacred home. I am eternally grateful. As payment for your services, please let me fill your pots with food. Wanna buy the land upon which this lovely castle rests? Only 50,000 gold. Thanks a lot. You won't regret your decision. If you want to make some improvements here, you should see the King's Engineers. I'm sure they will be able to help you. The workers have finished cleaning out the rubble and patching up the stonework. You should go inside and have a look around. Oh, one more thing. One of the workers found this stone while he was clearing away some fallen masonry. I thought you might be interested. If you have enough mega credits, you should think about building up your castle. The King's Engineers should be able to help you. While building the rest of your castle, a worker found another of those strange stones. Here it is. The only thing your castle needs now is a dungeon, but building one requires a permit, which you can get from Artemis, the King's advisor. Congratulations on your purchase of your very own dungeon. Actually, we just cleared out the stuff that was blocking the passage. But don't worry, the former occupants of the castle had impeccable taste. Here are your yearly taxes of 50,000 gold. Years ago, King Burlock met Crodo, a kindly old sorcerer who became the king's friend. Baron Darzog, who had been the king's master sorcerer, became very jealous of this friendship. I tried to warn the king that Darzog's jealousy would lead to no good, but he wouldn't listen to me. Now Crodo and Darzog have both disappeared, and I fear that Crodo has been abducted. Perhaps Darzog has imprisoned him in his tower. 
If King Burlock were not so obsessed with his search for the Sixth Mirror, I'm sure he would have you search for him there. You haven't found Crodo yet. Keep searching. Good, you have found Crodo. I now understand your plan. Here is a permit to construct a dungeon at Newcastle. The king is pleased with your progress. If Beric ever got his pendant back, this place might charge me for drinks! I will teach anyone pathfinding for 2,500 gold. I need the last raindrop of spring before I can give you the last flower of summer. I am the Summer Druid. Here is the last flower of summer. I need you to take the flower to the Autumn Druid, so that he can bring summer to an end. Thank you for the last raindrop of spring. Here is the last flower of summer. Take the flower to the Autumn Druid, so autumn can begin. Please take the last flower of summer to the Autumn Druid. No luck finding the whistle? Well, if you find it, be sure to bring it back to me. I'm sure I dropped it somewhere in Pitchfork Creek. A couple of years ago, I built a statue on each of the two islands near here. The statues are supposed to teach spellcasters to cure poison and cure disease spells, but I lost the bone whistle needed to activate them. I think I dropped it somewhere in Pitchfork Creek. <laughs> if you can find my whistle, I will activate the statues. The whistle. Thank you. I'll activate the statues now. Bye. Sinners must repent. The end is near. The plague is upon us. Thank you for rescuing me from Darzog's clutches. I didn't know that someone else had received my message. Zane's hideout is just above us in the clouds. You will need the sword the adventurers were working on in the dungeon of Newcastle to defeat Lord Zine. You must make haste. Zine plans to summon an army from the dark side to conquer our world. Please help clean up our beautiful town. Welcome to Vertigo. Sadly, most of the population has left because the town is infested with pests. A couple of years ago, I hired Joe, the exterminator, to rid the town of this menace. But the problem seems to be getting worse. Perhaps you could help. Thank you for cleaning up Vertigo and discovering Joe's treasury. <laughs> now it makes sense why the extermination of the pest was taking so long. I present you with the Outstanding Citizenship Award and this treasure. Congratulations! Oh, one more thing. I have received a message from the dwarves who reside in the Red Dwarf Range. They have urgently requested help and promised great reward to whoever is brave enough to come. Apparently, their gem mines have been invaded by the Mad Dwarf Clan, preventing them from mining. Help them out and report back. The dwarf mines are still being overrun. Please help them. The local dwarves have informed me of your great deed and have authorized me to present to you a rare honor, the Red Dwarf Badge of Courage. Congratulations! My favorite citizens, I'm always glad to see you. This place is deserted. You should go to River City. Now there's a town full of action. Thank you for saving me. I'll give you a hundred gold for a week of work. Sign up. I can teach you how to spot secret doors for 500 gold. I need the last snowflake of winter before I can give you the last raindrop of spring. I am the Spring Druid. I require the last snowflake of winter before I can give you the last raindrop of spring and your reward. Without the snowflake, I cannot end winter. Thank you for bringing me the snowflake. Here is the raindrop. I am now able to renew the year. And as I renew the year, so will I renew you. Please take the last raindrop of spring to the summer druid. 
You have not rescued Celia from the zombies yet. Please, hurry! I am searching for my intended bride, Celia. She was tending her family's sheep when zombies snatched her and disappeared into the forest of the walking dead. The forest is so large and the zombies so many, I'll need help to rescue her before they turn her into one of them. Help me, please. You have rescued my Celia. I am so grateful to you for reuniting us. As payment for your services, please accept this treasure. You haven't driven the spirits from Winterkill yet. Keep trying. The people of this fair city were driven out by a curse that brought the spirits of the dead back to life. The town is currently haunted by spirit bones. Perhaps you could drive them out. It's always a pleasure to see you, Ghost Slayers. Congratulations. You've successfully driven out the spirit bones, but now the spirits of Polter Fools have moved in. Perhaps you could drive them out as well. Congratulations. You've successfully driven out the Polter Fool spirits, but now the spirits of Ghost Riders have moved in. Perhaps you can drive them out as well. Congratulations. You have finally rid Winterkill of all the spirits. As a reward, I dub the Ghost Slayers Extraordinaire. For 2,000 gold, I will teach you how to use the stars to keep from getting lost. I'm sorry, but I cannot do any work on land that you do not own. Buy some land and we'll talk. Every defensible piece of land needs a wall around it. I can have craftsmen and laborers working on your land for five king's mega credits. Pay? Thanks. We'll have the work done by the time you get back to the site. We want to make sure you approve of the work we have already done. Please go and take a look at your castle. How about a keep to go with those walls? Just five mega credits. Hey? The only other thing your castle needs is a deep dungeon. Your site has a caved-in dungeon that could be cleaned out. But you will have to get a permit before you can dig. Come back when you have the permit. Cleaning out the dungeon will cost five mega credits. Hey? Your castle is complete. You don't have enough mega credits. Because you are still alive, I will have to charge you 250 gold to join Night Shadow's guild. The rest of the orcs imprisoned me for refusing to do evil. Thanks for getting me out of there. I see you have not yet found the Holy Book of Elvenkind. Please, keep looking. While traveling through Troll Forest recently, I was ambushed. In my haste to escape, I dropped the Holy Book of Elvenkind. I can only hope that it has not been found, for if it happens to fall into the wrong hands, it could lead to the extinction of my entire race. I will reward you well, if you can return it to me. You have recovered the Holy Book of Elvenkind. The entire Elf Kingdom thanks you. Please accept this gold as a reward. The guild is closed to all newcomers, so I can't enter your name on the rolls. If I receive a gift of 1,000 gold, however, I may fall asleep with the roll book open. A terrible thing has happened here. A foul curse has been placed on our town that turns people into snakes. Please, save us. Hey, thanks. Thank you for saving us. I need the last fallen leaf of autumn before I can give you the last snowflake of winter. I am the winter druid. I require the last fallen leaf of autumn before I can give you the last snowflake of winter. Without the last fallen leaf, I cannot make autumn end. Thank you for the last fallen leaf of autumn. Here is the last snowflake of winter. Take the snowflake to the spring druid, so spring can begin. Please take the last snowflake of winter to the spring druid. Thank you for saving me. For the low, low price of 5,000 gold, I will teach you how to climb the highest mountains. Would you like to learn the merchant's skill? 
I'll teach it to you for a mere 6,000 gold. In no time, the money that you save on purchases will more than make up for my fee. Some fool said that money is now growing on trees. Ha! Huh? Smile. The intent expression you're wearing is being broadcast to millions from the hidden camera in your monitor. Real adventurers, try deep mine alpha. If you say the name of a town to a mirror, it will take you there. I'll put anyone on the guild roll for free. Dues will cost 25 gold, though. Thank you for deactivating the stasis chamber. If you hadn't done it, I would have been trapped there forever. Much has happened since I crashed on Darkseid. It appears that my old nemesis Sheltam escaped from his stasis chamber long before I, and has done much evil in this time. My instruments show that Zine has begun to drift out of its orbit, indicating that Sheltam has full control of Zine. I have orders to stop Sheltam's galactic rampage, but I am unable to fulfill them. If I were to leave the safety of this ship, Shelton would surely detect me with his newfound powers and slowly drain the strength from my body. I would never reach him. If you had some means of transporting me past his defenses, I would have a good chance of defeating him in battle. Without that, I cannot prevail against him. I cannot leave the safety of this ship without some means of hiding from Shelton's defenses. Ah, a soul box. You have done well. I will hide in the box while you take me to Shelton. Once you are in Shelton's presence, throw the box to the ground, and I will come out and fight him. Be careful. If you lose the box or are killed, Zine is doomed. Nice to see you again, adventurers. The widget that you brought to me is fascinating. So you've come to me for the chime of opening. What could you possibly offer me in exchange? I've been around for thousands of years, and I've seen everything. Well, almost everything. There is one mysterious item that I haven't seen. It's called a widget. It's a hypothetical item whose existence has never been proven. Have you ever heard of it? Then you should go see Hallen, the inventor, who lives just north of Darkstone Tower. He's the one who first told me of its rumored existence. Really? Do you have one? Then don't come back till you find one. Would you like to trade it for the chime of opening? Oh, please, won't you trade? How can you trade if you don't have one? Then make it so. You haven't brought me my crystals of piezoelectricity. Perhaps they are an asp. I pray you, take heed of what I shall now unfold. It is a warning. Last night, while in a state of reverie, I remembered a story told me as a young boy of a strange machine that was capable of creating the most horrible reptilian creatures, creatures whose destructive powers were beyond imagining. It seems this machine could only be powered by crystals of piezoelectricity and a scarab of imaging. I gave not a second thought to this fantastic tale at the time, for it was told me by a wizard who was quite mad, or so I thought until now. You see, Recently, my sister Carlona's scarab of imaging mysteriously disappeared, as well as my crystals of piezoelectricity. I fear that these precious gems have fallen into the hands of those whose sole purpose is to wreak havoc and destruction on the inhabitants of this region. There is great danger here. I implore you to help me recover my crystals. If you will do this, I will reward you. I'll teach anyone the Megavolt spell for 2,000 gold. Thank the gods. You've recovered the crystals. You are truly great adventurers. As a reward, I'll teach you the Megavolt spell. I see you don't have my skull yet. Well, that's all right. I've been here for a very long time. I don't mind waiting another century or so. Don't worry about me. I'll just keep washing up on the shore here. I hate the surf. I've been trapped here since I died, crashing forward and pulling back, forward and back, forward and back. I am sick of it! If you bring me my skull and cast it into the surf here, I will be set free. I think my skull was pulled by the currents to the south and lies near the edge of the world. Retrieve my skull and I will teach you a spell before I go. Aha! 
My skull! Thank you! Already I can feel my tide of this world fading. Listen to the sound of the surf for your spell. For only 100 gold, you get a chance to win a doll. Step right up and ring the bell with the hammer! No! Too bad. Why not try again? Get out of my face. You already won the prize. Go play one of the other games. You win a prize! Now get lost and don't come back. For only 1,000 gold, you get a chance to win a doll. Step right up. If you are faster than the gremlin, you'll win. For only 10 gems, you get a chance to win a doll. Step right up. If you can stay on the treadmill longer than two minutes, you'll win. For only 100 gems, you get a chance to win a doll. Step right up. If you can shoot the bullseye 10 times in a row at 200 feet, you'll win. Get lost, and don't come back until you've won all the games. I see that you have four dolls. Would you like to trade them for a genuine Lord Zine Cupid doll? The ogres aren't gone yet. I think their base of operation is in the hills to the southwest. Those ogres are ruining me. For months, they've been throwing boulders at the boats that ply the waters around here. Three of my ships have gone to the bottom in as many months because the ogres like the sound of crunching wood and screaming men. I want those ogres gone, and I'm willing to pay well for the service. Thank ye kindly for getting rid of those ogres. Here is your reward. I can give ye a boat ride to River City for 100 gold pieces, if ye be interested. Pay? I can give ye a boat ride to the Eastern Shore for 100 gold pieces, if ye be interested. Pay? I will teach anyone cartography for 100 gold. The trolls are not dead yet. It's most urgent that you kill them. If you can please have them all dead by the end of a decade, we may give you a greater reward. It is good to see some civilized people around here. Maybe you will kill the trolls for us. They gnaw on our bark to sharpen their teeth in a most uncivilized fashion. Friends don't gnaw on friends' bark. Sometimes they even uproot saplings. We have talked about this for a couple of centuries, give or take a few decades, and have decided to hire some civilized people to kill the trolls. If you kill them, we will reward you. You are welcome to converse with us anytime, civilized ones. Thank you for killing the trolls, civilized ones. Your speedy job has saved us many lives and much discomfort. For that, we shall teach you the Super Shelter Spell. You don't have the lava. Why are you standing around wasting time when you could be out looking for lava? I am Hallen the Efficient. I have moved here from River City to avoid the time wasters that place is full of. To help me keep track of time, I have constructed a massive water clock, but the water freezes every winter. If I had some magical lava from Mount Firestone, I could melt the ice in the clock. Bring me some lava, and I will reward you. It is wonderful to see my clock work year-round, but still one can never have enough time. Lava, how wonderful. You can't imagine how much time you have saved me. Take this widget as payment. Shangri-La welcomes you. Get lost. Can't you see I'm drinking? Two years ago, I came to this town on contract to control the vermin infestation. It has been a long, hard job, but I've just about got the situation under control. I see that you are pale and weak. For 1,000 gold, I will teach you bodybuilding so that you can put some meat on your bones. The beasts live on. I wish someone would kill them. The fish supply is low. 
I am sure some sort of lake beasts are eating all the fish. If you can kill the beasts, I will be indebted to you. You have slain the monsters of the lake. Here, I insist you take this as a token of my appreciation. Only one sword can slay Lord Zeen. It lies in the ruins of the dungeon under Newcastle. The sprite still possess my wand. Try harder. A terrible thing has happened. My wand of fairy magic has been stolen by the sprites. Without the wand in my possession, my powers of magic are reduced. Now that the sprites possess my wand, they are crazed with power, attacking anyone in the forest. If you return my wand, I will reward you handsomely. You have returned my wand of fairy magic. Now peace can be restored to the forest. Please, accept this gold as a reward. Welcome, adventurers. The command orb you've been carrying has done its job and brought you to me at last. Thank you for returning it. Though I dare not leave my pyramid, I have heard of your quest and am grateful for the trust you have placed in me. But let us not waste precious time discussing trivial subjects and address the business at hand. Alamar seeks to use Zine as transportation back to his world, Terra. Though the travel will not destroy Zine, every living thing will perish in the cold that lies between the stars. As guardian of Zine, I cannot permit this to happen. Unfortunately, Alamar has the cube of power and through the cube, command of Zin. Already the sun diminishes in strength as Alamar directs Zin to the stars. With the cube in hand, Alamar would slowly sap my strength and destroy me should I dare to leave this pyramid, and I am the only power on Zin capable of defeating Alamar in a fight. Dismal as things seem, there remains a ray of hope. The night Alamar arrived in Zine, two shooting stars impacted the world. The first was Alamar, and we know what became of him. But the second landed in the molten rock of the volcanic mountains near the northeastern corner of the world. It has been stuck there ever since, and Alamar has made no attempt to rescue its pilot. Perhaps he fears what it contains. I want you to investigate. To aid you, I will use the command orb to cool the molten rock around the vehicle. Return to me when you are done with your investigation. You have nothing to report? Surely you can do better. The sun grows more distant by the day, and our lives grow shorter. Finish your investigation and return to me quickly. This is just the news I was hoping for. Another guardian to fight Alamar, or should I say, Sheltum. Korak is safe as long as Sheltum doesn't know he has been awakened. Now all Korak needs is a soul box to hide in. The only one I know of is in the city of Olympus. I will alert my servants that you are to be allowed access to the city and all other areas and devices they still control. You will be known to them as the Chosen Ones. Go now to Olympus and find the Soul Box. Once you have it, take it back to Korak. He will instruct you from there. You must take the Soul Box to Korak as soon as possible. Only he can save us now. Hurry. No luck yet, hmm? I don't wish to pressure you, but the window of opportunity to complete Zine's destiny comes but once in a mortal lifetime. Time is running out. Please, eliminate the nuisance as quickly as you can, and return to me with the scepter. I'm counting on you. It is good to see you again, Chosen Ones. I am very, very grateful to you for your services up to this point. Zine is returning to its proper orbit and we are no longer facing certain destruction. Unfortunately, Shelton's general, the monster that calls himself Lord Zine on the other side of the world, still lives and still holds the scepter of temporal distortion. Compared to Shelton, he is a mere gnat, but a pernicious one. As long as he holds the scepter, 
I am unable to cause the environment to engulf him. I am afraid that he will have to be defeated through more ordinary means. It is very important that he be removed from his cloud world above Darzog's tower and the scepter retrieved. I know that you have done much for the world, but in these times of chaos, I have no one else that I can send to do the job. Please rid the world of him. Report back to me once you are done. The opportunity to complete the destiny of Zine will not be around forever. It is important for you to turn the machines on, awaken the sleepers, and open the way to the cloud world above Darkstone Tower. These tasks are all that I shall ever ask of you again. Think of the fame and the adulation of millions you will earn. Ah, you warm my reptilian heart. You have saved the world from Sheltam and freed the other side from the wicked Lord Zine creation. Now, with the cube and the scepter in hand, and the enemies of the world out of the way, the destiny of Zine is in sight. All you have to do is turn on the four machines in the corners of the other side of the world, awaken the elemental sleepers on this side of the world, and open the way to the cloud world above Darkstone Tower. Prince Roland and Queen Kalindra are getting married there. Oh, that reminds me. Have you rescued Prince Roland from the bottom of Shelton's dungeon yet? If you haven't, that's one more little detail you need to take care of. Prince Roland needs to be free before he can get married to the Queen, doesn't he? Well, off you go. Good luck. It is good to see you again, my friends. But I cannot spend much time talking. I must see to my magical duties, and you must see to your tasks as well. The world is depending on us. Welcome! I'm glad you made it to the top of my tower. I'm sorry you had to run the gauntlet to get here, but my defenses are necessary to keep Alamar's agents and spies from my door. Yeah, I see that you hold the Dragon Pharaoh's orb. The orb is the source of the Pharaoh's magic, and without it he is unable to combat Alamar. He released the orb into the world to find adventurers willing and capable of helping him, and it is very important that you return it to him. The dragon fellow has sealed the pyramid from invaders, just as I have sealed my tower, so you will be unable to enter the royal pyramid without the key. Fortunately, we know where a key is, Queen Kalindra's castle. Unfortunately, Alamar moved the castle out of phase when he kidnapped the queen, and it will be impossible to enter it until the castle has been restored to our world. The castle can be restored to our world by casting certain complex spells powered by energy disks. Energy disks are rare magical batteries that can be used to power great works of magic, such as restoring the castle. I recently used the last of my energy disks protecting this tower from infiltration, and I haven't a clue where others may be found. Restoring the castle will require 20 energy disks to power the necessary spells. I don't have to restore the entire castle at once, so every five energy disks will enable me to restore a fourth part of the castle. Before you set about your new task, I would like to give you a little something to help you on your way. You will be able to find your gifts in the chest that runs away from you in the southwest part of Castleview. I will instruct it to stay still long enough for you to get what is inside. You haven't found any energy disks yet, then? Perhaps you failed to grasp the urgency of your mission. Alamar is going to destroy Zine! Now get back out there and save the world. Ah, I see you have energy disks for me. I will need five energy disks to power the spells that will restore the first level of the castle. 
Keep the discs with you and return when you have at least five. The world of Zine is counting on you. Excellent work. You have brought enough discs to restore the first level of the castle. Go to the castle as soon as you can. Perhaps you will find more energy discs inside. No discs? Well, don't worry. When Alamar destroys the world, you won't be the only ones to die. Millions of innocents will go with you. Take comfort in knowing that you have so much company when you shuffle off this mortal coil. I imagine it must be depressing to know that you are letting millions of beings down in their moment of need. Oh, well. Good, good, more discs. I still need five discs to restore level two of the castle. We will need those extra discs before we can uncover the key to the pyramid. Keep up the good work. Have I taken the time to tell you that you are doing a wonderful job? All of you, I mean it. The discs that you have brought to me will be sufficient to free the second level of the castle from Alamar's curse. I hope you will find more energy discs on the newly restored section when next you visit the castle. Why have you come to me empty-handed? Did you expect congratulations? The final hour approaches while you dawdle here. Get back to work. Thanks for bringing the discs, but I still need a total of five discs to restore the dungeon. I would like to restore the third level first, but the mathematical alignment of the forces would make such a strategy prohibitively costly in terms of discs. Carry on. This is fantastic. I was getting worried that we would pass the time threshold for the number of discs I originally stated we would need. But your speedy delivery of this batch has kept us on track. We are very, very close to bringing the last of the castle back to our world. Just five more discs will do it. There is still time to stop Alamar's plan. Congratulations, we've done it. The castle is free. I can't thank you enough. Our task together is complete. You must now find the key to the pyramid in the castle and return the orb to the pharaoh. Without the orb in the pharaoh's hands, there is no hope that Alamar will be defeated. I must attend to certain magical duties that will require my full attention from now to the completion of the prophecy. Go with my blessings.